uh, after the show, a woman came up to me and told me that her grandfather was a ventriloquist and that she now had the figure that he used in his act. And of course, I wasn't thinking anything about, you know, the, that this might possibly be an original McElroy uh, or anything like that. Uh, her grandfather was Wayne Fernelius, and he used him, uh, and he was dressed up in a policeman's outfit, and his name was Jerry McSafety, and he did safety programs for kids. Now, one of the really fun follow-up stories to that is that that year I went to Las Vegas to the ventriloquist convention there. Mm -hmm. Tom Ladshaw was there, and I had not yet told Tom about my find and what I now owned. So I approached Tom, and he had his little table where he was selling ventriloquism memorabilia. And I walked up, and I said, hey, Tom, what do you have here that's McElroy-related? Any, anything here? And he said, well, I've got some photographs here, some old photographs of some ventriloquists that use McElroy figures. And he's kind of thumbing through this box of 8 by 10 black and white pictures that he has. And he pulls, the first thing he pulls out of the box is, oh, here's a, here's a picture, relatively unknown ventriloquist. He had a McElroy, Jerry McSafety. His name was Wayne Fernelius, and he handed me this picture. So I looked at the picture. I said, well, you're not going to believe this, Tom, but I actually now own that figure. And uh, Tom looked at me and said, how did you find it? I said, oh, I, I didn't. <laughs> uh, like, I had no idea that that figure was even out there. But I met the granddaughter of the ventriloquist, and, um, and that's how I came in contact with it. So kind of a fun story. The very first photograph that Tom actually showed me uh, was the picture of Jerry McSafety. That's great. That's a yeah. great story. And I appreciate you sharing that. That When I heard that, I was, you've lived every ventriloquist dream. <laughs> <laughs> and trust me, I, I do not deserve it. I really don't. Uh, I, I still am stunned that, um, that that actually happened to me. Well, just unbelievable. You do deserve it because I've seen you, you know, on the video work with that figure and the joy you bring to people by bringing him to life. Uh, you you deserve that. So. Well, thank you. Yeah, so. Thank you. I think I'm now I I'm actually better at using Mac uh, than I was when I made that video. If I do say so myself. <laughs> well, the the McElroy has so many different movements to it, and yeah, I know uh, Greg Clawson. Uh, wrote the book on you know the mechanics for that, and I have the book. But being a non-mechanical person, I've never had any. I, I had a desire to build one at one time, but you know, yeah. pr proceeded with it because I knew darn well I'd mess it up. And uh, I bought the book from Greg because I thought if I ever do decide to build a figure, I want to see what they did. Uh, I looked through the book briefly. Um, it looks like what there's keypad on the back there, or. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So that's got to be a major learning curve to, to operate one of those. Yeah. It, it took me a good solid couple of months to finally get comfortable enough to feel like that I could actually introduce him into the act. Um, prior to using Mac, I had a, um, another figure that, that I had built for me when I was 12 years old uh, by Craig Lovick. So I was thoroughly used to that figure, uh, and of course the mechanics and how that operates uh, entirely different. As a matter of fact, it's an index finger um, operation for the mouth, and of course I had to get used to the thumb controlling the mouth, and I wondered if I would ever get used to that. Um, but I literally just shut myself in my um, little practice space at home, which is down in the basement, and practiced every day uh, with that guy. Uh, kind of just going through the paces and uh, going through my act. I would sometimes play music just so that I could isolate just manipulation. You know, I don't know if you've ever done that, but you know, you just put on you just put on some sort of a song that you know, and then the puppet just lip syncs to the song. Uh, it's it was for me just an exercise in um, manipulation. So that I'm not thinking about saying anything. I'm, I'm totally isolating just that skill. Uh, so there were all kinds of things I did to kind of put myself through the paces of uh, learning uh, how to manipulate that uh, figure. And frankly, I'm still in that process. It's, um, it's one of those things, as you well know, that you never master completely. Uh, you just 
continue to perform and um, sharpen your skills as you go.